Hi everyone, I'm Marco and this is Syndicate Games. Today we're going to do a faction spotlight about Rebels. One of the best factions in the game, uh, in my opinion. They can be used for many different things. As example, you need them for Admiral Palpatine, you need the Phoenix for Tron. And here a lot of characters need for Commander Luke Skywalker himself. But let's start. Who will actually be the best Rebel leader? In my opinion, I would say Commander Luke Skywalker. Some people are not sure because like then you have, uh, where was he? You have like Rolo or something, but her kit, her leadership kit isn't as adventured as it actually always, it isn't always useful and if I am honest, but let's go to the rest. The best rebel, we all know it, is of course not one of these. We all know it. Commander Luke Skywalker. And then I'm talking about him and not about C-3PO or any one of those, because simply you have Commander Luke Skywalker here and that has one simple reason. He is a good all around character, like for the leader, for in the ally slot and his abilities themselves. But then you have C-3PO, he is more like a good with support, but he isn't good alone. Actually, when you place him alone in the arena, you'll immediately die, so yeah. But as you can see here, he has a lot of unique abilities. He's very useful, but still, he isn't the best. He is good, I know. But let's go. What my favorite rebel actually is, of course, Commander Luke Skywalker. I am always using Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum in the squad with him. Purely, he is, she, she needs to be really good geared up with her Zeta to be really good, but then she, she can deal pretty decent damage. And then of course, if you are going to use Han Solo in the arena, make sure you have at least Chewbacca for that extra guard. And that's, I'm saying this purely because yeah, I know my Chewbacca isn't seven stars yet, but I'm using, I'm using Chewbacca in the arena sometimes, in Grand Arena, and even under geared with six stars, he is really good together with Han Solo, Commander Luke Skywalker. And we can also say here, who is another good support? R2-D2, of course. Really useful. I would always, I always put the stealth under command Luke Skywalker so you get the massive counter attacks. But also, other good thing about Rebels is the Phoenix Squadron. That has also has one simple reason. Let's go there. Phoenix are Rebels and they are Phoenix. And with that, I mean, you have like the Phoenix you can use for Tron and you can use them for Emperor Palpatine at the same time and they are strong enough to handle Emperor Palpatine. And then here you go, back. And here I know I don't have base melbus unlocked, but once you got him, together with Tyr, they are good for Grand Arena and they are needed for the hot light side territory battles. So Rebels are useful in many different ways. So, but mostly for the for the territory battles and sometimes good for Grand Arena defense or offense, either of those. And then let's go on with the rest. You have Admiral Akbar. He was one of the first Rebels and also used as leader the most. Yeah, he is useful. He is really useful against the Emperor Palpatine event purely because of his cleansing and uh, healing. That's why I used him before I don't tell me anything about that I didn't gear up my rebel, my Phoenix and such, because simply when I got Emperor Palpatine, Phoenix wasn't a thing yet. But, and the other thing, we have uh, Rebels, they all have synergies with each other, like Wedge and Biggs. So Wedge um, assists extra when Biggs uses a special. But here also, you need the Rebels for different things, like you can use all of these for Palpatine, but you can use the uh, Stormtrooper Han, Farm Boy, Luke, uh, Princess Leia, Obi-Wan, and as last but not least, R2, you really easily. They aren't uh, the hardest to gear, and the event, and they um, aren't. They are all free to play actually, and you can get them easily through the yeah 
when you got them these are unlocked at least gear level eight it's easy to get through them through the command Luke Skywalker event and then you get him I have yeah and then yeah we have some decent rebels here they are all uh, pretty good you have Captain Han Solo a reviver if I'm correct let's see his kit like he's really good if you want to um here as you can see they, he can revive rebels, actually the same as what Jolie does, uh, but then yeah, only for rebels and Jolie only for Jedi, so never mind that. But what I'm always using, the number one rebel, in my opinion, is Commander Luke Skywalker. Then we are going to number two. Yeah, I would actually say Chewbacca, if I'm honest, purely because he gets synergy with other rebels and of, uh, you get changed you with Han Solo and then a random other character. And then number three, I would go for Han Solo. With his Zeta, he is really good, especially with Chewie in the team. Like, if you give him a Zeta, he attacks again. And that is because he, if he attacks first, he attacks ex exactly a second time, which will make it easy to uh, deal a huge damage because Chewbacca assists that turn already too. And then, of course, we have at number four, C-3PO. He makes, he makes Rebel teams really good. With his, all his, yeah, literally with all his uniques and the special. He can call, call in massive assists. He is really good. And at number five, I would actually, may sound weird, but I am, where is she? Oh yeah, I am putting R2D2 in it. If you want a full good Rebel Squad, you gotta use Chewie, C3PO, Commander Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and R2D2, of course. With the, this squad can be really good in as well, Grand Arena, Squad Arena. They are just, yeah, if I'm t saying uh, something about the Rebels in general, they are good, they are really good. They still can climb a bit in the meta, not as much as they did. Um, Commander Luke Skywalker was a bit meta in the past. But what I can say about this, they have some synergy that can let them climb up. They can defeat Jedi Knight Revenant. I have seen it one time that they defeated, that they have defeated um, Darth Revan. Not sure if that was with Malak, but we need to get, I think we will get some more Rebel stuff as soon as uh, yeah maybe not rebel stuff clone wars never mind that but as you can see here they can be really easy to farm mostly most are free to play and the uh, thing i mostly like about the rebels is one simple thing they are free to play that's not it they are good they are strong on offense and defense so it doesn't matter even on defense they are strong offense even better but what i'm saying here don't do not hesitate to farm rebels. They are really good. That you, it's it's a waste to not farm them. I I would say when you got the chance, go for Luke, farm boy Luke, Han, and the other characters needed for Commander Luke Skywalker. Once you got him, you can climb up in the arena really fast, even if he's under geared. And then yeah, there's one thing we are still hoping for. Then the rebels will probably be be, be throw in a trash can. I'm talking about, there are rumors Darth Malak isn't returning. I don't believe it's true. I think he'll actually return. I think CG is saying this purely to get us, uh, to make it the second time pay to play for the same event. But anyways, my thoughts on the Rebels, always good. They are, some of them don't aren't good on offense, but they are good on defense. But my thoughts on the Rebels will be and will stay the same they are good for everything every rebel can use can be used for something and yeah i think we'll later in the game we will need them again and maybe uh, i think we'll need commander luke skywalker for the if for in case jedi knight uh, luke comes out because you might need him in a hero's journey event and then you will need to like do a buff that you fight darth vader on uh Cloud City, and you need to have Commander Luke Skywalker for that. That would be pretty neat, actually. A uh, legendary character, a legendary event needed, or a hero's journey event needed. 
and you need a hero's journey character already for it. That will actually, that sounds cool to me, but we know how it goes. Marquee characters comes out, they become free to play a week later. There we have the, the hero's journey event, the legendary event, whatever. Sorry about that, by the way. And uh, yeah, but these are my thoughts on Rebels. They are really good. I can't call them bad. Um, share your comments, uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, leave a like, please subscribe. Uh, turn notifications on, and don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, let the Wookiee win. I believe I'm self-made, yeah.